more feedback that we've had from FIFA 10 and was around the goalkeeper and around the chip shot. So a lot of people found it very easy to execute a chip shot. They found that the goalkeeper didn't help the situation by creeping off his line. And while in the creeping off their li is the line was good in some ways because emotionally it forced you in a decision-making process or you have to shoot now because the goalkeeper's come at you. So emotionally you do feel that a bit of emotion from the goalkeeper coming off his line. So I kind of liked that, but the chip was just way too easy and the way the goalkeeper dealt with the chip wasn't very good. So again, we have went back to the chip shot. We've looked at the how easy the chip shot is, looked at the the difficulty of the error that we add onto those chip shots and we've made it so that you know you really have to be composed before you can execute a very good chip shot. You can't do it with your weak foot, you can't do it if there's a lot of um, pressure on you or if you're off balance and things like this. And we've also looked at the goalkeeper. So again, responding to that feedback about the chip shot, we've, we've reworked quite a lot of our systems and hopefully um, addressed, addressed these things. But Again, further on the goalkeeper, it's not just the, the chip shot that we've readdressed. I mean, there are loose ball situations with the goalkeeper that, again, people have, have been commenting on and we're work, reworking the, some, some of his AI on the loose ball situation. Also, the goalkeeper doesn't deal well with balls that come across him. He's fine if the ball comes towards him, but not if it comes across him. And again, we're trying to address those situations. So we've, we've actually assigned an engineer onto the goalkeeper full-time for the whole year and we're hoping you know, to address a lot of those concerns that people have raised on the community.